Hello there. My name's Austin from Music to My Mouth. And I'm feeling a little fancy today. <sighs> There's nothing like a good Prosecco. That's why I decided to feature it in this week's cocktail for NOI's performance of Petrushka on Saturday night. This cocktail is a variation on the French 75, a classic cocktail invented at the Harry's New York Bar in Paris, the city where Stravinsky spent much of his life. In the Stravinsky's opera, or ballet rather, um, he uses a polytonal chord based on it with C sharp major and F sharp major to announce the arrival of his character Petrushka in various scenes throughout the ballet. I chose to represent those two chords by using B fever gin, Prosecco, and lemon juice to represent the C sharp major chord, and yellow chartreuse, chamomile, and honey to represent the F sharp major chord. Chord. With those two elements combined, they create a pleasing, tingling sense in the mouth that I really like in this cocktail. So we're going to start with an ounce of gin, a half ounce of yellow chartreuse, similar to green chartreuse, but it has a mild, more mellow flavor. So it doesn't take over the cocktail. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of lemon. Just need a little bit more. I've said this before, but a half a lemon is about a half an ounce. And then we're going to add a half an ounce of our house made chamomile syrup, which you can check it out on the website if you want to see how to make it. It's super easy. It's just as easy as making tea. You always want to think about the sweetness of your syrups balanced against the amount of acid in your drink. When you want your cocktail to have a little bit of a brighter, buzzy flavor, you might want to overbalance the lemon juice like we do in this cocktail. So we're going to take all those ingredients except for the champagne and shake them with ice. And now we're going to strain that into our flute, which is going to give us the base of the cocktail. While I'm pouring this, I'll tell you, the reason I chose to do a play on a classic cocktail is because Stravinsky often used what they call neoclassical techniques, which means he would use old forms and turn them into new music. Now, he didn't really start doing this until after he wrote Petrushka, but I thought it would be cool to include that in this cocktail as an homage to him. Homage to him. So you always want to be careful, open your champagne or prosecco away from your face and your friends. And then you're just going to pour it right on top. Pour it nice and slow so it doesn't bubble over. Give it one little stir. And then we're going to take a lemon twist and just wrap it around something. Usually I would use a cocktail stirrer. Today I'm using a weird barbecue pick and then drop your twist right in. I hope you're feeling it. 